So let me show you how to use highest common factor factorising to solve basic quadratic equations like this one, 6x equals 9x squared. The first stage is to rearrange your equation so it's equal to 0, like I've done here. So I move the 9x squared over to that side and I've got minus 9x squared. So you've got 6x minus 9x squared is equal to 0. The second stage is to actually use highest common factor factorizing. So I want to I want to find out what's the highest common factor of 6x and minus 9x squared. So between these two numbers, the 6 and the minus 9, the highest common factor is 3. So I put 3 on one side. And uh, what's the highest common factor between x and x squared? Well, that's just x. So that also goes over there next to the 3. So the highest common factor of 6x and minus 9x squared is 3x. But that's not the end of factorising. Factorising is basically the opposite of multiplying brackets out. So when I factorise this, it should turn into uh, 3x times something in a bracket, uh, which basically should multiply back to make this. So when I factorise this, it gives me an answer. And that answer, uh, if it's correct, should multiply back to give me my original thing that I'm factorising. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to have some uh, something so that 3x times something equals 6x, and 3x times something is minus 9x squared. So 3x times 2 is obviously 6x, and 3x times minus 3x is minus 9x squared. Why is that? Well, 3 times minus 3 is minus 9, and x times x is x squared. So we're done. We're, we've basically factorized this into that. So since this stuff is equal to 0, and this is just the same as that, but just factorized, just written a different way, this is also equal to 0. Now here's why we had to rearrange it to equal to 0 in the first place. Well, basically there's a little trick that goes like this. If you've got two things that times together to make 0, one of them have got to be 0. So if you think of any two numbers that times to make 0, like 5 times 0 equals 0, you'll notice one of them have got to be 0. So uh, basically in this situation we've got two things that times to make 0. We've got the 3x times the 2 minus 3x and that equals 0. That means one of these has got to be equal to 0. So either 3x is equal to 0 or 2 minus 3x is equal to 0. And in maths we say both of them are equal to zero depending on what x is. So, uh, so basically, if you got three x equals zero, then that means x is equal to zero. That's one solution. And if two minus three x is equal to zero instead, well, rearranging that gives you x equals three over two or 1.5. So basically, here are the two answers which are both correct, which is uh, which should both be used in the exam. Uh, when you're solving a quadratic equation like this one. So that the solution to 6x minus 9, sorry, 6x equals 9x squared is x equals 0 and x is equal to 3 over 2 or 1.5.